Hello, I'm Lowell Martin and this is MCC Today. Where's your tinsel? On today's show, we have Kim Rush, Tariah Mouton, Tucker Atkinson, and Dr. Laura Lewis. You're going to want to listen to all of this. Thank you to the teachers for encouraging me when I wasn't sure where to start. For seeing my potential, even when I didn't. For inspiring me to reach farther and try harder. Thank you, MCC. You helped me change my future. Find your wings at MCC. And we are here with the wonderful MCC recruiters. We have Mr. Tucker Atkinson and Ms. Taraya Mouton. Yes, sir. I said that right? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have been here how long? We've been here since May. Okay, both of y'all came in the same time. Mm -hmm. All right. How is everything going? I've enjoyed it so far. It was nice getting to come back after being gone for two years and still see mm -hmm. so many of the same people are still here from when I was in school. We can't afford to retire. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't afford well, Why do you think I started so early? <laughs> there, there you go. There you go. But everything's been going well for you? Everything's going good. We're enjoying as far as, you know, everything about it. You know, the students that's coming, the schools that's coming to visit, taking them on tours, you know, showing them around. It's a good experience seeing, you know, how the students react when they get on college, get sure. in a college environment. So, Well, that was what going to be my next question, was mm -hmm. what exactly does a recruiter do? So what what is your job? So the main part of our job is to get students on campus. Okay. Whether that be going out to the high school, them coming to us, either or is to get them applied, mm -hmm. registered, coming to MCC. Because a lot of times I think once we can get them on campus to see the facilities that we've got, we've got they're, they're hooked. Oh, 100 yeah. percent. And a lot of that comes to not just us, but our student recruiters we have also. Right. Because mm -hmm. that gives those kids that are coming somebody closer to their age, mm -hmm. they can relate to them a little bit better, make friends for when they do come here and be like, oh, I know this person. They yeah. gave me my tour a year ago. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you, but is it also part of your responsibilities to go out and uh, go to other, uh, like some of the high schools and things like that? So, yeah, about that. So, like, it's definitely our job to, like, that's why we have, like, um, MCC, why choose MCC mm -hmm. experiences when we go out to the schools and we have, like, PowerPoints that we show them, you know, showing them what we have to offer as far as activities. Um, even the events like we got a Martin Luther King event coming up. Right. We're going to have that recorded and that's something we can also show them. Just showing them what we do here at MCC. Take it out to the schools and show them and hopefully just make them buy in. And mm -hmm. also, you know, telling them good things about it. Mm -hmm. So, just Well, yeah, it wouldn't be great if you, you know, it, not wouldn't it be great, but wouldn't it be interesting? I always thought if we could have a tour and we like start just making stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> No. Uh, you no, can no. do that too. No, 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 no. <laughs> now we used to on our old website we had a virtual tour. Mm -hmm. Do we do we still have the virtual tour available? I know it's not the same thing, mm -hmm. but to give people an idea, kind of, of the stuff on campus, you know, since we're about to, we're, you know so you know, closed during the holidays. If I'm not mistaken, it is an optional. There is an there. optional virtual tour mm -hmm. or. But let I me like stress, it is not the same. That's right. Yeah. It is not the same. Okay. And we come back, I think it's on the 9th. Mm -hmm. So from that whole week of the 9th, we can do tours in person before classes start that following week mm -hmm. to if they want to wait and get a personal in-person tour. Now, do y'all go out to high schools? Do you, ever, do you go to middle schools as well or just high schools? So most of them are connected, but mm -hmm. we don't hardly talk to the middle schools. Okay. Okay, but you go out and meet with counselors at the various uh, high schools mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. also meet with some of the students? Right. Okay, and just give the information, this is mm -hmm. what we do, you want to come in, with, bring your parents for a tour, you want to do this. Mm -hmm. What about homeschooled students? So, we haven't had much interaction with them this semester. I'm sure in the spring, closer towards all graduations, mm -hmm. we'll try to get better with that. But. Um, I think the biggest thing for all high school students when we go out to talk to them is that there's a stigma about MCC for local high school kids. They don't want to come here. 
they're afraid it's just going to be like their two years of high school and they don't want to see the same kids they've seen the last four years. Mm -hmm. So when we go out there, like she said, when we have the YMCC PowerPoints, we can show them that there's more than just you're going to class five day, or four days a week. Now we're not going on Fridays. Um, there's extracurricular events you can participate in. There's mm -hmm. new people you can meet from different counties, different countries. Mm -hmm. That there's more than just I went to Northeast for four years. I'm about to go to Northeast again for two more years when I come right. up here. Yeah. Right. Do you face it because for years? MCC had a stigma of being super hard. Mm -hmm. Do you ever hear that? I do, um, especially since I Harvard on the hill. I yeah, went I here. Did. Yeah, <laughs> Tucker by Tucker. You know, there's, he went to the school, so he. Right. Yeah. There's definitely college is definitely a challenge. It's not like yeah. high school where your teachers are going to be there every day to help you. You have to have some independence on your own. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, those kids that either have that or develop it, they're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Now, if you relied on your teacher a lot in high school, you weren't really independent, you may struggle for a little bit. But the great thing about MCC is we have places like, I've heard about the Success Center. Mm -hmm. I don't know who really runs the Success Center. It must be somebody really He's smart. very handsome. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, really <laughs> handsome. But I heard they'll help you out. They can tutor you for mm -hmm. absolutely free. Mm -hmm. So even those kids that are having trouble with that adjustment, it can be made and you can pass. Well, the thing is, and, and this is what I tell students when I, you know, when they bring the tours around, and and I talk to them about the Student Success Center. College is a different creature, mm -hmm. and you have to go into it differently. And because the, the biggest thing we always hear is, "Well, I made straight A's in high school," and yeah. but it's different here. See, and I think that's what's the biggest thing when you like transition from being a high school student to a college student. Of course, they always think it's hard. Even I thought it was hard, you know. I struggled myself when I was, you know, coming from high school to college. But like Tucker said, it's about being disciplined. It's mm -hmm. about, you know, you're not in high school no more. No teacher's going to hold your hand. Like when you're in college, you're an adult. You got to handle business mm -hmm. and, you know, do what you're supposed to do. So. Well, I, and the thing is, and I don't want to make it sound like the teachers don't care because mm -hmm. we do. Yeah, they However, you know, we also, I have expectations mm -hmm. of you, you know, of mm -hmm. my students as well. And when I say, look, you may take the test until this particular date, and the test has been open for two weeks, right. yeah. and then suddenly I get phone calls saying, can you open the test again because I missed it? And my first reaction is, why? Yeah. Why did you miss it? Mm -hmm. You know, now I'm not completely heartless, but what I'm saying is, you know, I gave you two weeks. Mm -hmm. And that's what students be saying. That's the hard part. That's, that would be right there. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. You know, it, it, and, and these are the expectations that you have in the world, too. Yeah. When you get out in your job, no one is constantly coming around now, remember so and so, right. and remember to do this, and remember this is going to be coming up. It mm -hmm. doesn't, or it never worked like that for me. Mm -hmm. And see, that's what we preach. That's what we preach on our students, because like as recruiters, we have Ivy League as well, mm -hmm. where our student recruiters, and like that's what we try. Ooh, so our best people to get to lord over. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we try to teach responsibility. We didn't have talks with them as far as you know being responsible and you know taking care of business also. So. That's, that's big when you're in college, so. Well, if anyone is interested in scheduling a tour for themselves and or their families, mm -hmm. how do they get in touch with you? So you would go to our main website, which is meridiancc.edu, mm -hmm. and you would scroll all the way down to the bottom of that home page, and there should be in a little green box say schedule a tour. Mm -hmm. okay. Click on that, you find a date that works for you. I think our time slots are limited right now because our Ivy League recruiters are who give those tours, and we've given them the Christmas break off and that first week coming back. But if you wanted to say schedule one for February when they've got out office hours, mm -hmm. you'd have those times displayed. You'd click on one that works for you, type your information in, and we'll see you on that date. And mm -hmm. if you don't want to wait, uh, uh, if you want to get some idea beforehand, you could you could still go on the virtual yes, tour. Absolutely. But I still recommend, if you go on the virtual tool, tour, still schedule an um, appointment, come up and see, because mm -hmm. you will not meet nicer people than here on this campus. Yeah. I agree. Well, so I want to thank both of y'all for being here today. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good night. Thank you. We'll be right back. Since 1996, the MCC Foundation Tuition Guarantee Program has provided students an opportunity to find their potential. Thousands of students have benefited from the program. Over $6 million have been invested in the students who learn and live right here in our community. This program is funded by individuals and businesses who believe in our students, our families, and the economic impact of an education at Meridian Community College. Now is your chance to offer support. Give today at meridiancc.edu give. 
We are here with the wonderful Miss Kim Rush. How are you doing? Hello. How are you doing, Lowell? I'm doing well. You Good. Know, we're so ready for, what are we ready for? <laughs> A lot of things, <laughs> a whole, whole lot of things. Uh, we are ready for graduation tomorrow. Yes, 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 yes. We're we ready are for ready for Tuesday, which is be the last day that we're here. You know. Uh, but I wanted you on because even though this MCC is closed mm -hmm. technically during the, you know, you can still access all of our information. Correct. You can still access and get ready for mm -hmm. spring. Correct. Hopefully many students have already made their schedules. Correct. That would be wonderful. Yes, yes, and preferred. And preferred. Definitely. Because, and I tell students all the time, we have a limited number of classes mm -hmm. and a limited number of students. Correct. If you want certain classes, certain days, yes. certain times, certain yes. teachers, you better do it now. Correct, correct. But uh, they can still yes. register and yes. that will continue going. Yes. So what do, okay, if a student is interested mm -hmm. in coming in the spring, mm -hmm. What do they need to do? Well, one, know that our campus is open until December 13th. Yep. That's the first thing to know. The second thing to know, though, is that they need to apply through admissions and be admitted. MeridianCC.edu, the top right, top right corner, click apply. Apply to our institution. Mm -hmm. Once they are admitted, they will get an email on the next steps to register for classes. Okay. Um, so we will have registration open throughout the spring semester, depending on when they want to take classes. Our campus classes and online classes that are full term will start January 17th but we return back to campus on January 9th right yes so we you, you will be here so anyone who's filled out applications Correct. and all that mm -hmm. you'll be y'all will be taking care of those Correct. and you know we used to say it's so important to get this because if you don't register by this time you're out of luck mm-hmm but that is no longer the case. Correct. Long go, long gone are the days. If you don't register by this date, then you won't take classes that semester. You'll have to come back next semester. I mean, we have a lot of points of entry, you know, in the spring semester. Again, full term online and full term campus begins January seventeenth. But we have second intensive classes that begin mid March. Okay. And the online they usually begin a week after traditional classes begin. Yes, but not the spring semester Ooh. because we um, our calendar. Should so we're yes. starting the two the Tuesday after MLK the campus classes, which is traditionally when our online classes begin. I had not put two and two together. Yes, so. and you got four, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and, and so, I, you know, I have the four week. I te typically mm -hmm. teach the four week classes, and so I have a class starting. Uh, which will be starting mm -hmm. right after MLK. Yep. Maybe I should do a little bit more work. Yes, on yes. So our <laughs> campus and online classes will start the same day. Now I will say, typically, a lot of students will come to campus. You know, that week, January, the week that typically the campus classes begin, and will switch their schedule around. Now they won't have that chance because again, campus and online start at the same day, mm -hmm. and they but they have that first full week to make any changes to their schedule. Okay. Now, uh, so they, they can go ahead and do all of the, they can apply, they can, and then once we're back, they can mm -hmm. get their schedules Correct. done. Uh, what about financial aid? Will they still be able to access financial aid in yes, the spring? Yes, yes, and so if, if you are a student at our institution or any other institution, for the uh, fall semester, um, you can definitely tap into your financial aid for the spring semester. Now at our institution, after grades have been posted, we'll run a report through financial aid. And if there's any issues, you will know about it before classes start. Okay, yes. okay. And, and, and sometimes it might just be a simple, hey, you need to turn this additional information correct, in. Correct, correct, correct. Or you need to do this, mm -hmm. it's, okay. Now, uh, um, but now with, with as I said, there's no set ending time mm -hmm. for for setting up classes correct. because we've got so many new different correct, types of correct, classes correct. going yes. on. We have, um, again, second intensive classes that start mid-March. We're also adding a um, a hybrid format to campus classes. Yes. I mean, you know, back in the day when COVID came and, and reared its ugly head, all classes were forced to go to that hybrid format. And so right. now the hybrid format will be one day a week on campus, and then you will have additional materials to be done online in an online format. Why didn't they have all this when we were young? I, I'm a lot older than you, but I, yeah. I did not have, it was like, <laughs> this is how long the yes, class is. This is what Come you to do. this class. Yes. This is what you have to do. And that's it. Here is the book. Yes. 
Go yes. to. Students have many, 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 many options now to get their education, which is wonderful, wonderful. It is wonderful. It is. Now, do you ever think, though, that, that sometimes there, there are too many options? I do. Well, it's a lot for us to keep keep up with. I'll yes. be honest with you, because we definitely want to provide the student with, you know, all the options, all the resources available, but it is definitely a lot to keep track of. And, you know, the thing is, we're catering to... Yes. Our market, and I, you know, even though we're we're a, we're a very good institution, and I still, in my heart, will always say MCC is the best Correct. community college oh, yes. in the world. Uh, but but this is what our this is what our people, our students are asking for. Correct, correct. And we try to stay on top of that mm -hmm. and continue to offer them mm -hmm. what they are asking correct. for. I I just wondered, like I said, I keep thinking back on if only they had offered, you know. Uh, uh, dual enrollment mm -hmm. when I was in, mm -hmm. in high school. Or a flex class where you could take more classes online yes. and then do certain classes on campus. And so I definitely think that as long as students understand the rigor of an online class, the rigor of a hybrid class, even the rigor of a campus class, they can definitely be successful. When you were in school, mm -hmm. did Way back you when. wait until the last minute to make your schedule? For what do the you think, Lowell? I am very sure I have the answer <laughs> that the first day, so I was the an first eager beaver. day it was open, yes. which I did the same. Yes, I was definitely an eager beaver. And I will tell you, back in the day when I was in college, we had um, the <laughs> schedule came out in a booklet. They were about this big, kind of like a church pamphlet, okay. came out in a booklet. And you went down and you got your little schedule and you sat in the hallway waiting to see your, you would put he would put a, a schedule on the board. You would yep. put your initials there, and you would show up at the time and sit in the hallway mm -hmm. until he showed up or got done with the student, and he would give you like a four-digit code. Mm -hmm. He would sign your registration form saying, yes, I agree <laughs> to this. He would keep a copy of it. You would keep a copy. A copy would go to the registrar's office, and then you would go to your big old computer, like the big computer, and you would type in your schedule. Well, you hear the noises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you would put your four-digit code in, you would go sit success and then you would go to the registrar's office give them the carbon copy you kept the white he kept the yellow the pink went to them and then they'll print you off a copy of your schedule and somehow Yay. the system worked it worked could you imagine having to do no. that now <laughs> i couldn't imagine a student having to do that now oh yes. oh that would be fun <laughs> oh but i just think of all the options and it is wonderful mm -hmm. that you have all of these mm -hmm. options and that you have all of these possibilities yes definitely but please Take advantage yes. of these possibilities. Yes. And listen to your advisor um, on what the recommendations they give you. And know yourself, because if you're working full time or you have a lot of things going on, you know, you have to look at, consider all of those options and those issues that you have before you set up a schedule. So if you're considering coming in the spring, mm -hmm. go online mm -hmm. and apply. Correct. That's number one. Yes. And you can even uh, uh, set up a, a tour of the campus Correct. if you would like. Yes. It won't happen until January. Correct. But but uh, and then you can you will proceed from there. Correct, correct, correct. Again, we have classes that start January 17th. So we have, but when we come back to campus on, on January 9th, you have plenty of time to get everything in, come up to campus, meet your advisor, talk about your classes, your program, all those things. But just because you have plenty of time mm -hmm. doesn't mean you correct. necessarily need correct, to correct, correct, correct. Yes, of time. definitely. Listen, thank you so much for being on the show. We're today. done. Yes, we are. Believe no. it. It always happens very quickly. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Not essential. Never let anyone tell you that again. Never doubt your abilities to make a difference. How do I know this about you? Because I'm a teacher. I am the one who will push you harder and farther than you could have ever imagined. Teach you things that you never thought possible. And if you will give me 100%, then I will stand shoulder to shoulder with you and together we will change your future. MCC, find your wings. And we are here with Dr. Laura Lewis. How are you doing? I'm doing so good. Uh, me too. You know, it's I'm a good day. I'm glad to be here with you. Thank you so much. I'm, as she said before, I'm so glad I read my reminder email. <laughs> Yay. But now, what do you teach here at Meridian Community College? I teach personal and community health, health concepts, uh, SPIN, um, and whatever, really and truly, whatever the students want, we try to have that you know, as an Make opportunity for them, yeah. weight training, things like that. Um, and I teach a variety of online wellness classes. Okay. Like walking and jogging, yes, that is online, but we do have that. But you still have to do it. You just you have you, to you, do you, it. You do some of the other stuff online, yes. Right. So it's not just you pull up and you scroll. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right. Actually, our students have bird. to submit. Yeah. Our students have to submit um, uh, data from yes. their, you know, trackers. From I the actually did trackers. that. I, I actually did that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I, but at that time, we didn't do the trackers. We had to like take pictures or yeah, submit something to yep. say, "Hey, we're out here and we're walking." Right. Now, uh, I wanted you on the show today to talk specifically about holiday health strategies yes. because, typically speaking, during the holidays. Guess what happens? We tend to overeat. We overeat. Uh, I know you don't. Be, let me just tell you, That's she is true. the best eater in the world. That's not true. You have your stuff. <laughs> I try. I try. <laughs> but do do you ever find yourself overeating? Absolutely, okay. I do. I mean, I think that that is just part of our tradition. Um, and here <laughs> with my family, we just do a lot more during Christmas. We bake. We cook. Because uh, so, it's just family time. Absolutely. And, you and, and you're not as much in a routine as you were. You know, and we have time off. So when you have time off, you're, you're there again taking that routine out. So when you take a routine out, our brains just kind of get all jumbled and we don't exactly know where to fit in, how to eat right, and how to, when to exercise because we're not in that same routine. Okay, so, so if someone is saying, look, I, I've been working on my weight and I've gotten it down and I'm doing pretty well, I'm worried about the holidays. What would you suggest to them? So my suggestion is, is try to maintain the same routine that you had prior to going into the holidays. So okay. if you are eating four or five meals a day, stick with that. Um, if you're, you know, sleeping that eight hours, stick with your sleep routine because that's a really big part of metabolism as well. And then another thing is watch portions. I know during the holidays we want to try all the treats and the yummies and all of that. So my suggestion is if you're going to eat those things, watch the portions. Don't okay. have, you know, five, uh, you know, what are they called, German chocolate chest squares that your, your family makes during the Christmas holidays. Don't have five or six of you those. Have, have not one. Seen my we don't make <laughs> Divinity, I know that's oh one my, thing oh. that, you know, yes. the Chex Mix we were just talking about. You know, have a serving. A serving could be anywhere from uh, a half a cup to a cup, you know, or depending on ounces, four ounces to six ounces of whatever mm -hmm. that may be. At one time, mm -hmm. you see, a lot of times we try to go overboard with those goodies. Well, and, and I find that this is my problem, is that I eat and I continue eating until, you know, my brain hasn't caught up. That's right. And my brain, I need to eat a little bit and let my brain say enough. Right. But I don't let, I don't let that happen. Right. I always, I'm like, oh, let's eat some more. Yep. Oh. <laughs> so that's why you have to give yourself time in between those servings. You know, eat a serving, wait like five to ten minutes and mm -hmm. see where you are with it. And drink plenty of water when you're doing that. And sometimes that kind of helps, you know, um, quench that. And sometimes it doesn't. And that's why I try that not to do coming. too Excuse much. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, that's why I try not to bake as much. Try to do one little happy, one little treat here and there, and then beg my mother, hey, listen, if you're going to do this, don't push it on me every time I come <laughs> over to the house. You well, know. What about you've got this check mix that you, oh, you're yes. talking about? What is Chex that? Mix. So I do. Everybody kind of knows about it, I think. And if you don't know about the check mix, it is, um, you know, in my opinion, carbs are not bad. You know, I try to implement all of the macronutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. So, <coughs> bless your heart. I'm so sorry. Um, so I use the Chex Mix cereal, and I also add in nuts, and I do um, some pretzels, and I think that you, you do add butter, and you add some Worcestershire and some really good seasoning to that. But um, to me, that's not a really bad treat because um, there's not a ton of fat in it okay. in terms of serving. You okay. know, if you're eating just one serving, you're not getting a lot of How that. How much is a serving? For Isn't a, a for serving like... A Chex Mix is for like a, ha a half a cup to a cup. But like a the, the amount yeah, you can I mean, have in you your can, hand, that's right. a serving. That's probably a serving. I a grew half up a cup. thinking a serving was like Everybody grew up thinking a serving was this much, but that's just the American way. And unfortunately, when it comes to Thanksgiving and then moving into Christmas, this is when I start crunch time for me. And a lot of people, this is why, I, <laughs> usually I like to be ahead of, the, ahead of the, you know, the ball whenever it comes to the new year. Right. So I'm not struggling to get there. So I try to start right after Thanksgiving. I'm really watching it. And I know that sounds bizarre, but that's how you get ahead is starting before Christmas, watching your servings, especially during that Christmas meal, you know, and then thereafter. 
You know, and you still exercise throughout. Absolutely. Okay, you Absolutely. don't give up your exercise. No, do not give up your exercise. And if you can't get to the gym, you can certainly do some things at home. Calisthenic workouts, push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups if you have a pull-up bar. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dumbbells, resistance bands, um, <laughs> and walking. I was looking at getting one of those... Um, fold up treadmills okay. and they're not very big and you can easily store them and they're not even that expensive. They run anywhere from 250 to 300 dollars. Now that can be expensive for a lot of people but if you save up over the time you know you can eventually purchase one and, and use it at home. Okay, know. okay. Now what are some of the, the things that your family does at Christmas that you just look forward to? So uh, we usually go to I know our you've got Christmas. a very close-knit family. Yes, we do. Um, and, of course, my siblings live away, so if they don't come home, it's usually my parents. You know, we do our thing together, but we usually go to a Christmas Eve service, and um, that's what we do on Christmas Eve. And then um, we generally have a Christmas Eve meal, and then for Christmas Day, we do our little happies together. Not as much as we used to. The Christmas Eve meal, do you do you have certain foods that y'all always cook or do you, do you just mm. like let's try some let's try different things or over the years we've been backing off on the number of dishes that we've been doing. I've been begging my mom to do that because there's just so much food left over. Okay. So we try to do, you know, we limit that and then um, we try to incorporate more grains, <coughs> more vegetables, and we do ham. 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 Well, listen, thank you so much for being on of today. Course. I really appreciate it. I love coming. Thank I you. know you do, and I appreciate <laughs> you being here. Thank, thank you. you so much. We'll be right back. Meridian Community College. For more than 75 years, we've helped students soar. Establishing the first tuition guarantee program in Mississippi, we put our students first while creating pathways into the workforce and offering a seamless transition to a four-year degree. Now is the time to find your purpose and register today because those who move forward never get left behind. MCC, find your wings. On behalf of the executive producers, Tanisha Clark and Matt Milner, media specialist Josh Taylor and me, thank you for watching. Have a great holiday with your family.